Welcome friends, today we are making a free energy generator using the principle of electromagnetism. Here we are using a nail over which we will wound a insulated copper wire of maximum turn so that a maximum flux will link and generate a free energy. The tools required is as usual shown in the video. So we will use all these tools to make that project. Next we will take a rafter nail, a big fat nail over which we will wound a maximum number of insulated copper wire. To support this we will take two round ball bearings. So this type of nail we will take and for supporting this we will take two round ball bearings and see that after winding a insulated copper wire over this can this generate a free energy so like this we will put the ball bearing over the nail which is free to rotate to support it you can use any other supporters uh, over the nail it is not necessary you can use a ball bearing you can use any other support also here we are using a ball bearing after that you insert a ball bearing inside the nail and start winding insulated copper wire see that a maximum number of turns are done so as you increase the number of turns the flux linking with the coil increases and mm, you can generate maximum emf the principle lies that as you increase the number of turns the flux linking will increase as as you decrease the number of turns the flux linking with the coil decreases so the generation of emf in the coil depends upon number of turns of insulated copper wire over the nail and it also depends upon the flux uh, linking the coil so this type of insulated copper wire we will take and start winding it over the nail see that you have to tightly wound the coil over the nail without leaving a gap so we will start winding it leaving a certain space to solder it to the outer connection we will start rotating the coil over the nail and see that no space is left in between tightly it should be wound over the nail so we are starting to wound it so maximum number of turns are been given here over the nail so one by one you have to rotate it as much as possible of number of turns once the turns are given you see that all the turns are tightly held up here without leaving a gap after completing the windings over the nail again we will insert a ball bearing over the end so that it will hold all the windings without loosening it so we have completed the we are approaching the completion of the winding here tightly we should wound it so we have completed maximum windings the winding is been done tightly over the nail once the winding is completed uh, we will insert a ball bearing and fix it with the tape and we will mount this uh, arrangement over the wooden cardboard the extra length of the wire is cut with the scissor 
and we will remove the insulation of the insulated copper wire with the knife or a blade so that proper soldering can be done. We will remove the insulation at the ends of the coil in order to solder it to the output connection. So once the insulation is removed for a proper soldering So we have removed the insulation of the insulated copper wire and we will put a solder so that it will be easier us to connect the output while doing the output connection. We will put the solder to the ends of the coil properly. So we have soldered the ends of the insulated copper wire. So we will insert a ball bearing at the end so that it can tightly hold the windings and tight it as much as possible. So for making an electromagnet over the nail this principle is used that we will wind an insulated copper wire and whenever we pass electricity through it, it will become an electromagnet. So we have completed the windings. So this principle is used to make a electromagnet whenever we will wind a insulated copper wire over any iron object and pass electricity it will become electromagnet. And here we are making an electromagnet and see that whether we can generate free energy whenever we link a maximum flux to the coil and can we generate electricity or not. So after completing uh, this step of winding, uh, we will take a wooden stand or we'll, which we will mount uh, this arrangement of winding which we have done over the nail. We'll tightly fix this wooden box over the plywood so that it will not move. Once it has been fixed, we will mount a nail over this using a double sided tape so that it can hold it tightly. Take a minimum length of a tape so that we can fix it is a double sided tape which we have used here. So we will fix this arrangement uh, done here in front of the wooden box using a double sided tape. The endings of the coil are kept uh, uh, nearer to each other again using the tape we will fix it uh, so that we can insulate it properly. Next we will take a DC motor with front magnet which is kept in front of this coil or the arrangement done. We will tight it with a screw and see that the magnet is very nearer to the coil so that a maximum flux can link with the coil and it can generate a maximum amount of EMF in the coil. This also works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever the flux linking with the coil changes, EMF is generated in the coil. 
the emf generated in the coil depends upon different thing the number of turns of the coil the flux linking with the coil the rate of change of flux linking with the coil so on the, all these thing the emf generation depends we'll fix a double sided tape in the ends of the wire so that we can bring the ends of the coil nearer to each other so that we will solder it with the output extension board now we will fix a diode to it for forward biasing to convert the emf generated in the coil which is in the form of alternating current that is ac to dc using a rectification so we are we are using a half wave rectification by using a single diode if you use a single diode it will work as a half wave rectification for full wave rectification you have to use two diodes for bridge rectification you have to use four diodes here we are using a single diode for half wave rectification and we will fix a capacitor in parallel for a filter so the capacitor works as a filter capacitor which will remove the residual ac in the circuit it is filter out the ac and give you pure output of dc current direct current once we will fix a uh, diad properly in series with the endings of one coil we will fix the diad in a forward bias see that uh, uh, the solder is done properly after the fixing the diode we will fix a capacitor in parallel to the winding the positive end of the capacitor is fixed with the diode and negative with the other ending of the coil in parallel as for filtering out the ac and give, get a pure dc output so both the endings of the capacitor is been fixed with the coil endings once it the arrangement is done we will take a extension board and fix this type of extension board and fix it with the endings of the copper coil in order to get the output we we'll fix a tape here double sided tape to fix the extension board over the board solder the endings of the extension board with the output of the coil once the solder is been done both the point the of the extension board is fixed with the endings of the coil so we have fixed the board the endings of the coil with the output of the coil we 
once the output uh, see that uh, soldering is properly done without a dry solder So here we have done a proper uh, soldering. Once the solder has been completed, uh, our circuit has been completed, uh, and uh, here the rotating magnet is mounted in front of uh, the nail. Now uh, we have to give a torque to the motor so that uh, it will rotate and uh, induces a flux. Uh, over the coil and generate a EMF in the coil we will check whether it will generate the EMF in the coil or not so the coil should be kept uh, very near to the uh, magnet uh, so that a uh, maximum flux will link with the coil and generate uh, maximum EMF Next, we will fix a magnet in front of that nail, a round magnet, so that maximum flux will link with the coil from both the side. And whenever we will fix a motor with a magnet in front of the coil and give a torque, maximum flux may link with the coil. Here, once we have given the torque, the magnet starts to rotate and flux will start linking the coil which will convert the uh, nail into electromagnetism and even it will generate a emf in the coil so here the flux linking with the coil changes and emf is generated in the coil with the help of uh, diode and capacitor we are converted into a dc half wave rectification and you can see here the bulb is growing showing that EMF is generated in the coil. So it works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, stating that whenever the flux linking with the coil changes, EMF is generated in the coil. So here you can see the bulb is glowing. bulb we started to glow so all these arrangements are uh, based on a uh, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction uh, stating that whenever the flux linking with the coil changes uh, EMF is uh, generated in the coil and this output of uh, energy which is produced uh, using a diode and a capacitor will convert the output of the coil which is in the form of AC into DC Thank you friends, uh, please subscribe the channel if you like the video and press the bell icon.